What happens now? Have to get that bastard Arvo. On the left. Slow down. Shut up. Oh. She's awake. Interesting. Hey, you. Clem. Oh, thank God. What happened? That piece of shit Rusky shot you. We had to run the truck to keep you warm. How do you feel? It hurts. Couldn't find the bullet. Must have gone clean through. It'll burn a while, but you'll be fine. Those sons of bitches. I mean, I expected it from the Russian. But Mike? I could tell they were working on something. I didn't think they'd go that far. Is Bonnie okay? They took off on foot. Didn't get this puppy thanks to you. Now that Clem's awake, we should talk about where we're going. We're headed north. What, to find Wellington? You sure talk a lot of shit, but you got a better plan? We head south, back to House. Carver's camp? The fuck kind of plan is that? Mm. I think Bonnie said there was more formula back there. And we actually know where it is. And it was overrun by a damn herd. Wellington's out there. We have to keep looking, Jane. Clem, you can't be falling for this. Come on. She made up her mind, Jane. Clem, please. This is suicide. Why don't you let her think for herself for once? Why don't you? Me? Look, even if there is some place up here, it could take us weeks to find it. We could get back to Howe's in a day. Tell you what, we can turn around just as soon as you pry this wheel from a cold, dead fingers. How's that sound? Whatever. I give up. Seems like the more exciting decision. Get your feet off the dash. We've Let's already play been game, back. Clem. I spy with my little eye an asshole. Your turn. Grow up. Mm -hmm. Go to hell. I'll pull this fucking car over. Go ahead. You want to die out here? Don't touch her, Kenny. I couldn't see the damn road. Bet you're having trouble seeing a lot of things these days. You shut your fucking mouth. I am done playing games with you, Jay. Fuck you. You don't know a damn thing about me. Oh, I know exactly what you are. Nothing. Nobody cares about you, and you don't care about nobody but yourself. That makes you nothing. What is it with you? It's your family, right? Don't. It is, isn't it? I'm warning you, you little shit. You're just another type A asshole trying to save a bunch of dead people. Watch the road. I am, goddammit. You listen to me. You mouth off about my family, and I will fucking end you. Jesus Christ, I'm so sick of this wounded warrior crap. Just pull over. I can't take this. What? Running away again? What a fucking shocker. In the end, still only care about yourself, right? And where were you when Sarita died, Kenny? Huh? Where were you? I was there. I couldn't... God damn you, yeah, I love come that on. woman! Nobody who died is anyone's fault. We, we all wanted to be together, and it just went bad. But we owe it to them to try to make the best of this. I'm sorry, Clem, but I can't put up with this bullshit anymore. Oh. The feeling's mutual. You know the thing about people like you, Kenny? You're just a bomb waiting to go off. Everyone talks about you behind your back because they're afraid of you. That ain't Mike, true. Mike, Bonnie, Sarita. Fucking liar, that ain't true. Everyone around you knows that sooner or later, they're going to end up dead. Sarita knew it, I know it, and so does Clementine. I told you not to talk about my family. Fuck you. You fucking piece of shit. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. Oh, jeez. Kenny! You okay? I'm fine. How's AJ? He's fine. You sure? Yes. Clem, you alright? Yeah. Kenny, I'm... Wait, hold on. Go around. One of them might have diesel. We shouldn't stop here. We're running on fumes. Got no choice. When I holler, it's okay. Drive up closer. Anything happens, I'll try to meet you there. Right. I'm going, going with you. Go now. Kenny. I'm not going to end Kenny. I'm not going to leave him alone. I'm not going to leave him. Asshole. God. I can't do this anymore. I'm serious, Clem. The decisions in this chapter are so hard. I just can't. Stop making him mad. Everything makes him mad. How are you not seeing that? Well, all you're doing is just making it worse. You're just like him. Clem, we could leave. Right now. Are you serious? What about AJ? Look, I, I know you're close to him, but Kenny would never let him go. 
This is our chance, Clem. Don't you ever want to know what it's like to live your own life? Oh boy. It's snowing. Why are they moving? They must not be cold enough yet. Fuck. No, we're running on fumes. I don't know how to drive. See that pedal on the floor? Step on it. Don't just sit. Here we go. This is gonna be bad. Jesus. Whoa! Didn't even see that one coming up. Woo! Oh, get out of there! The door is stuck! I wonder what would have happened if I dodged it. Shit! There are more of them! Move! Clem! Clem, hurry! Jane, get out! Hurry! Jane, wait! Oh, this is just a wonderful situation to be in. Not making these choices easy. And that's a good thing. I like that. It's challenging my mind. <laughs> Not see anything out here. Stay away from the walk. Gonna get out of this mess. I'm assuming it wants me to go this way? I don't know. Whoa! Hi there. It's definitely an interesting bit. Assuming the zombies can't smell in this extreme cold. At least I sure hope not. towards the rock. Assuming there's something in here that I'm trying to find. Here's something. There's a door. Zombies? Anywhere? Quick time event came out of nowhere. Got clobbered by that zombie. Wonder what would have happened if I dodged it. Jane? Kenny? You alright? Yeah. Where is he? Where's the kid? He's with her. You left him with her? Jane? What was I supposed to do? They are. Wait. Oh, thank Christ. Jane, you okay? Oh, Where's crap. the kid? Jane, where is he? Where is he? He's. What are you saying? Not again. Not again. Clem, look at me. No matter what happens, just stay out of it. Okay? Just trust me, Clem. I don't understand! You have to trust me. We're gonna see what he really is. Oh, she probably hid the baby. Just to see what he does. Oh, jeez. 
Yep, he's lost it. I didn't kill him. It was an accident, Kenny. I won't back down from you, Kenny. Shut up! I'm warning you. We can't kill each other. Not after all this. We're all that's left. Stay out of this, Clem. Clem, stay back. Don't you come near me, you son of a bitch. Kenny! Get the fuck up! Fuck you! Stop! Please! I don't think there was a right choice there. Hit him in the arm! Jane! Stop! Quit your fighting! Oh. This is all your fucking fault! Piece of shit! Just go! I ain't Get between going them. Nowhere. Stop the fighting! Fucking Make peace, not war. This is on Sorry, you. Kenny. Stop! You don't have Get to do up. this! Uh. I'll fucking kill you! They're both crazy. Listen to me! Get her up. Oh, great. Now he's blind completely. I'm so confused. Maybe she didn't hide the baby? I don't know. Why would she let this go on so long? Jeez. Somebody's gotta die. Sorry, Kenny. I love you, man, but you're crazy. No! Got me right in the feels. Clem. You made the right choice. I let you down. <coughs> I let everyone down. Why did you make me do this? I'm sorry, Clementine. We almost made it. We were close, weren't we? <coughs> I thought I wanted this. Asked for it so many times. Now that it's happening, I'm scared. <coughs> I'm afraid, Clem. It's okay, Kenny. You're, you're going to see Kutch and Duck. You're going to see them again. Oh, you're always good for a smile. Yep, baby's not dead. I knew it. Just trying to set off Kenny. See what would happen. Interesting plan. I understand if you're upset. AJ was never in any danger. I was just... 
going to try to talk you into coming with me. I just thought if you saw Kenny like that, you'd know we'd have to leave him. Look, Clem, I'm sorry. I, I didn't think Kenny would go that far. I, I can't believe he's alive. He's safe, Clem. It was a stupid... I should never have lied to you. But I thought it was the only way you'd see. Oh my god. Kenny, you have to forgive me. Please. We can just leave all this behind us. Please. I did it for you, Clem. Mm. For us. All right. We're free now. I forgive you, Jane. I got no one else. Thank you. Thank you, Clem. You were right about Kenny. All along, you knew what he was going to do. It's over now, Clem. Let's just put all this behind us. That was rough. I'm going to kill a character that I was attached to from the first game. Why, game? Why? Why do you make me do these terrible things? I guess that's what makes you entertaining. Oh, here we are again. I can't see much from here. Come on. I don't want to go back and play the chapter again just to see how it changes. <laughs> Zombies didn't get to him. I don't know how you were able to watch that. I've seen worse. Probably at some point. Here's the food. Clem, this formula. Bonnie was right. The greenhouse is in good shape. You know, maybe we should stay here a while. See how it goes. Just, just stay behind me. Clem. Hmm. Huh. Who are these Come folks? On. They don't look armed. This your place? Yeah, it is. Really? Yeah. Why? We need help. My boy, he... He ain't doing so good. What's wrong with him? Look, uh, don't worry. He ain't, uh, he ain't bit. Just hungry. We've been walking for weeks. Ran out of food a couple days back. That's your kid? Where have you girls been? Why do you care? Whoa, I, I didn't mean nothing by it. You don't want to know. Yeah, sure. We're all walking a tough road. Keep your eye on him. This place needs a lot of work. Yeah? Yeah, we could help you. There's not that much food left. Please. We won't make it another night out here. Look, I know you don't know us, and I know a lot of people out here say a lot of things. But I'm asking you, as a father, please don't turn us away. I don't know, Clem. They could be anybody. Do we really want to go through this again? Please. Hmm. We'll die out here. All right. Just give us a chance. More manpower is not a, a bad thing. Ourselves. Come in. Thank you. We're doing it again. Around the side. I'll pick people over zombies any day. You sure about this? This place is a mess, and I don't know how long that food will last. I'm not sure about anything anymore. It's not much. But we'll make it better.
Just keep your eyes on him. We'll be fine. My name's Patricia. Jane. Thank you, Jane. Don't mention it. Thank you so much. Of course. Well, he could have shot at us, and he didn't. So that's a good sign. Cool hat. Thanks. Oh, that was it? Oh, man, leaving us on a pretty... Well, I, I guess the story kind of winded down there a little bit. Um, so maybe we'll see another season. I think they're actually working on another season and a couple of other games in the same style. Wow, I did not pick I did not pick very many popular decisions. I definitely took the road less traveled here. Interesting. So protect the baby, you and 44% of players went for cover. I, I guess that makes sense. I was just kind of looking out for myself there in the spur of the moment. I was like, you know what? Forget the baby. We're taking cover. Uh, though I should have known somebody else would have grabbed the baby anyway. Went to help Luke. You and 65.7% of players did not try to help Luke. Interesting. I actually thought there would be more people that did try to help Luke. Asked to leave with Mike. You and 24.1% of players wanted to leave with Mike. Interesting. Shot Kenny. You and 48.5% of players shot Kenny. So there's actually not very many people that shot Kenny. Yeah, that definitely hit in the feels, but you know, Kenny has been acting quite crazy the in, ever since, uh, what's her name, died. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I definitely think I made the right choice there. In the end, who are you with? You and 19.1% of players are with Jane and the family. So I'm not sure if it's implying that they walked away from Jane and walked away from the family or just one or the other, because keep in mind, there were two separate decisions. Um, so I'm not sure what that's implying, but definitely did not pick the popular decision, whatever that was. So you guys probably got a little bit of a glimpse of what most of these videos are not showing. All right. That was, the last episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed this series. I know I've had a lot of fun recording it. I've really enjoyed this game. I love the first game. Love this game just as much, if not more. Um, they definitely really made it tough there at the end, you know, having the character that we developed across two games now and having to kill him or choose between him or a different character. It was pretty apparent that a lot of people didn't kill him, so I'm actually kind of wanting to go back and play that chapter again just to see what happens if I shoot Jane or make some of those deci decisions differently. Um, they definitely make interesting games. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Please, go and buy this game. It's $9.99 on Steam right now. Since they released this episode, they have marked the price down. And it's definitely worth your time, definitely worth your money. Um, these games have been very successful, and Telltale is continuing to make more of these types of games. Definitely want to see what's up with Arvo, too. You know, he shot me and he ran away. So I want to see what happens with him in the next game, hopefully. So, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.